Hello GOTC gamers. Today we are going to talk about the armory um, and what our ultimate goal is for the armory on an account. So as you'll see when I open up my armory, I've bought no crafting packs for the armory. Um, I was focused on making wearable pieces um, of what I was looking for and I've been trying to go ahead and set up just a base um, in the armory that I'll eventually work up through the other events and once my wearable pieces are where they should be. But I'm also going to give guidelines on um, the strategy to achieve and unlock um, at least 50% or greater of the stats that you want. So in a perfect world where we're all millionaires, our armories would all have level 50 legendary pieces in every slot and we have 100% of every benefit. But that's not very realistic. Um, for most of us, we at least, our ultimate goal is to try and at least get our collection points in our armory to 170,000 collection points for each set. So how do we do that? What do we do? So when we look at a set where it is completely empty in an armory, you'll see that you have three grayed out bonuses that that collection could give you. So in order to unlock all three, we need at least two yellows in the set, two legendary pieces. And then we need at least two other pieces in the set to be fine quality pieces or better so that we can unlock it all. And then the other two need to at least be poor. I don't recommend putting poor pieces into your armory. I stick with fine um, or better for my armory. So ultimately to achieve where you see collection points are zero you want that to eventually say 170,000 points how do you make that happen the best way to make it happen is you really want at least one level 35 yellow or legendary piece in the set you want one level 40 epic or orange piece in your set and you want two blue pieces that are level 45 in that set um, the blue or the fine and then your other two slots if you wanted you could have a level five legendary piece and then a level five of any um, you know any quality really sitting over there but you're targeting at least four pieces out of the six that are in here and you need one of those to be the level 35 yellow one to be a level 40 orange and two to be level 45 blue pieces um, so you want the collection points to ultimately say 170,000 points. There are a lot of ways to get there. Um, there's the for sure crafting, which means when you select your ingredients, when you're crafting, that it says on the yellow 100% chance, or it says on your blue 100% chance. Um, so when you're going for these level 45 pieces, um, you want, you know, to be sure that you're going to get, you don't really so much want to gamble on a level 45 piece. It's so much steel. So you want to make sure that when you go to craft it and you're looking at the odds and the crafting that whatever arrangements of things that you're sticking in here, um, ultimately, you know, that you have the highest chance that it's going to be fine or better, right? And what a nightmare it would be to make a 45 piece that came out poor. That would be horrible steel wise and things like that. So <clears throat> if you look at this random combination that I've selected here, um, this is called gamble crafting, right? Because I'm only using epic or um, exquisite for my special material, right? Um, so I'm not burning through. If I was to upgrade this all the way up to legendary, it would take down the amount that I had. So I'm like, hey, I'm just going to make this one epic and look at the, my chances at the bottom. I have the same chance. I have a little better chance it'll be a legendary piece because what you destroy, the ring or the gear template, um, that weighs pretty heavily on the ultimate piece. But then again, out of this, I could destroy this and end up with a level 20 poor piece that's called gamble crafting okay you don't use as many special materials but you use a lot more steel because you may have to make this doing the same sort of thing you know 10 times before one of them pops up legendary or you can get really lucky and your very first one you could get a legendary right so that's gamble crafting 
where you look at the odds down here and you don't use as many of your special material and you just keep trying to make the same piece again until eventually it works. Then there's the for sure way. Um, so in, in this scenario, if I wanted something that was for sure 100%, then once you entered in your pieces, um, and that one was a bad example because this account doesn't have that. Um, you can tell I've been doing some crafting here. The for sure way just means, oh, good grief, that when you go in there and you enter your ingredients, it says 100% that you're going to get the level. So let's pretend we're trying to make that 45 common. That would make life easier, right? So, or um, fine. So if you're in there trying to do a level 45 fine, you want to see that there isn't zeros in the poor which is the gray and a zero in the green and that you at least are going to get out of it the level piece you want or greater. So in this case, obviously it's a hundred percent chance I'd get the fine piece out of this scenario. You, you know, so that this way, if you're looking at a hundred percent and you want something to be legendary, then obviously on the yellow bar, you'd want it to say a hundred percent. Now you're going to use way more of the special material but ultimately it's going to be much less steel than the gamble crafting method to get those slots in your armory. So you have those two options when you're crafting for that armory. You can gamble it or you can 100% it. But ultimately you really want it, like this said, I'm building up because eventually, um, you know, this skirt will be a, a level 40 orange skirt in here. And then I'll have my um, one little level five legendary that's just going to hang out, but the other one will eventually be a level 35. Well, you can guarantee when I'm working that one piece up and it's for my armory and it has to be legendary, I'm not going to gamble it. I'm probably going to hundred percent. It may take me forever, but I'll get there. <clears throat> and then, <clears throat> sorry. Um, and then two of these here are going to be the, you know, level 45 blue pieces, so as you can see the difference already because I have the one piece that I've pushed it's taken the collection points to 1680 and there's still two missing pieces whereas you can see another one that I've just stacked for example with these kind here it's only 360 collection points and I have all the slots full so you can really see the difference between the kind of collection points you get when you level up those pieces and that the other set that's not even full has way more collection points exponentially so than, than this set that's full. But eventually, um, you know, I'll swap out and make sure that um, one of these blue pieces turns into an epic piece, an orange piece. So, I mean, really, that's the, old, that's the overall goal. And if you really want help with doing this and you want a reference guide, um, GOTC tips they're a great site for everything to do go to their website here um, or just look up GOTC tips Game of Thrones conquest best possible way best way possible for the armory you're looking for this article with this publication date I'm not going to show you the article in the video because these people went to a really um, a huge amount of effort to put this together with really great graphs for you um, and all kinds of, of big time work. So please visit their website to support them. Um, they're a lifesaver for anyone who plays this game and needs a lot of help. So go to their website where the ad that they have can flash up for you and all that good stuff. And they can get some credit for all the hard work they put into this article. It's a fabulous article. I recommend you go read it. So, um, so big thumbs up to GOTC Tips. Thank you so much for all the hard work you do. The calculator, they have a calculator attached to the article as well where you can calculate uh, materials needed to do right for your armory. They break it down for you. They talk about the different strategies that you can use, the different ways that you can stack the armory to achieve those. And um, they totally nerd it out with the graphs and everything they have for you. So thank God for people um, who, who go to all that work and trouble to do this for us. So again, highlights, you want 170,000 collection points that will unlock 50%, at least 50% of the overall, um, possibility of the stats for the collection. One way to do that, which is one of the easiest ways to achieve it is to make sure one piece in that collection is a level 35 legendary yellow. So one level 35 legendary, 
one level 40 epic or orange piece and two level 45 blue pieces. That's one of the most feasible ways to achieve and unlock the points that you're going for there. So best of luck to you. If you have any questions, which I'm sure you may have, put them in the comments, um, read that really great article, um, check out the GOTC tips website. I'm not sponsored by them in any way, shape or form. I just worship them because they've saved my life and made things so much easier for me when I was a newbie to this game. Um, and so huge shout out to those guys doing so much hard work over there. Any free publicity I can give you, I'll give you because, um, you guys just rock and, uh, everybody, I know you're watching this because you're trying to do right by your keep and by your team. So keep up the hard work and dedication. Remember, the game is a marathon, not a sprint. You do not have to achieve this by tomorrow. That is just your ultimate goal. Work on it. Every crafting event, level up your armory pieces after you get your wearable pieces where you want them to be. Your Anything you wear is always going to be a better benefit to you than sticking it in your armory. So I get those wearable pieces leveled up. Um, do not fill up a little set over here if, you know, it, I'm infantry based. So imagine that my Kingsguard armor right now, there's nothing in there. Why? Because I have, I'm making the wearable pieces. And once I get my wearable pieces done, then I'm going to fill up my armory for that stat. It's a marathon. We'll get there. So, um, just remember those highlights and best of luck to you. Have a good one.